The Shadow Reader walks into the door and swings it open to see one of his biggest names in the Creepypasta community. The one, the only, Mr. Creepypasta. Well, Shadow, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Mr. Creepypasta, welcome. I sure hope you're prepared for an unforgettable creepypasta. Well, yeah, let's just hope it's not the rest of this childish gibberish you narrated. Shadow invites Mr. Creepypasta inside and gives him a seat at his round table. He walks in his kitchen and then stares, stares into horror as he sees giant globs of smoke shooting out of the oven like, like if fires of hell were inside. Holy heck, my creepypasta is ruined! Shadow took a look at the window and stares at a nearby fast food place called McDonald's. But what if I purchase some fast food and disguises at my own cooking? Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I am so proud of my IQ. At least they'll think it's the right word. Shadow is about to climb out of the window when Mr. Creepypasta walks out through the door. Shadow, where? what are you doing? Mr. Creepypasta, I was just uh, stretching my calves on the window shield. Semonic exercises. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming from your oven, Shadow? Oh, that's not smoke. That's um steam from the steam troll pasta we're having. Mmm, steam troll pasta. Mr. Creepypasta leaves the room, unamused. Phew, that was a close one. Just like that time I almost got caught trying to assassinate Nate the president. Shadow then rushes to McDonald's to buy ten of their whoppers and then dashes back to his house with heavenly smelled merchandise and stepped into the kitchen. Mr. Creepypasta, I hope you're ready for a mouth-watering lol pastas. I thought we were having steamed troll pastas. Oh no, I said steamed lols. That's why I call lol pastas. You call lol pastas steamed lols? Well, yeah, it's a regional dialect. Uh-huh, what religion? Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, really? Well, I'm from Bellevue, but I have heard anyone use the phrase steamed lols. Oh, not in a believe of you. No, it's a conjoined expression. I see. Mr. Creepypasta takes a bite out of the quote-unquote steamed lol. You know these troll pastas are quite similar to the Whoppers that they had at McDonald's. Oh no, Pat Dinner and Shadow Burger's old family recipe. For steam lols? Yes. And yes, you may call them steam lols, despite the fact that they're obviously grilled. Yeah, you know, the one thing I should... Excuse me for a moment. Shadow then begins to hear cracking of the fire and forgot to turn off his oven. A few seconds later, he then steps out and forgets to close the door behind him. Oh, well, that was wonderful. A good time went by, and I'm all pooped. Well, yes, I should be. Good lord. What's happening there? Aurora Borels. Uh, Aurora Borels? At this time of the year? At this time of the day? In this time of the country? I localize the entirety with your own kitchen? Mmm, yes. May I see it? No. Mr. Creepypasta and Shadow walked outside the house, only for the Dark Ranger to call out, Shadow, the house is on fire! No, Dark, it's just the Northern Lights. Well, Shadow, you're the odd fellow here, but I must say, you steamed that good lull. As with Mr. Creepypasta walks back to his car, Patrick can be seen freaking out of Shadow's house, now with the ablaze of fire. Shadow then rushes back inside screaming, Patrick, call the fire department! And that, my little pretties, was Shadow's Steamed Lulls, a funny pasta written by the Dark Cat. Uh, Dark Cat, um, I can see you, well, tag, put, like, a little, um, I guess you can say, um, Caligari as the, for the Shadow Linus. Thank you so much for, um, letting me read this story. Thank you so much for, for sending it to me. So, anyway, I'm gonna sit here and, well... I guess we could get started with this, to be honest. So anyways, let's get on with this story. For one, this story, I have to say, was pretty hilarious. Now, I kind of remembered, I think I narrated this. Um, I think it might have been maybe, well, um, I don't know. Um, I think I narrated this back in 2019. I can't honestly remember. It must have been, like... From there, because it's been such a long time since I last sat there and, well, did this. So, yeah. At least I did my best to, well, sit there and narrate this. So, I could definitely say that this story was actually 
pretty interesting for what it is. It's a pretty good pasta. So I definitely have to say it was a pretty funny one, despite the fact that it was just like a little short um, funny pasta, but it was still really well made in detail. Like, I really was surprised about this story. It was a really funny story, even though it was just, it was a short story. But I definitely have to say it was a pretty good one that the Dark Cat made. Like, it was just really funny. Like, I remember sitting there and, you know, actually taking a look at this. This one was actually really funny, really well made and detailed. And I absolutely really like the whole concept of itself. It's pretty funny. Really good, well made. Just absolutely love how this story went out. It was, oh goodness, it was really, really funny. So I definitely have to say that this story actually provided pretty good um concept for what this one is. It's pretty good for what it was. It was funny. I really liked it. I really have to say that this story was actually pretty good. So with anyways, I really have to say... <laughs> I do wish that it was kind of longer, like maybe the story could be a little longer, like a little expanded perhaps, because in that way it would be a lot, we would get a lot more humor. Like this story was pretty good the way it is, it's just, I guess you could say, um, the only thing I could say was I wish it was a little longer, so then we could sit there and kind of, well, sit there and, you know, Kind of just get more enjoyability. But it's pretty good the way it is. Don't get me wrong. It's a pretty well made story. So I definitely have to say that I really do like how this story went out. It was pretty good. It was funny. Really had a lot of time and effort into it. It was just really funny and amazing. Now I kind of do remember, you know, this story sometime, you know, while, you know, going through, well, I guess you could say, while going through some stories i found this story and i actually really found this story to be enjoyable a pretty good and enjoyable story i'm not gonna lie it's a pretty good one so i definitely have to say that this story actually provided pretty good detail so i definitely have to say that this story was pretty good really well made detail and i really do find it to be pretty good so i could definitely say that i really enjoyed the story it had a really good enjoyability into it it actually had a pretty good well concept of what it actually was it actually was pretty good it was a, it was humorous too not gonna lie it was pretty humorous it was really funny i definitely have to say that this story actually provided pretty good detail for what it is it's funny really do like it so i definitely have to say i really do enjoy this story so i guess with that being the case and with that being said um, yeah, I'm gonna sit here and say this right now. I really found this to be really funny, the dark, um, Kath. You did a pretty good job with this story. I really do like this story. I found this one to be enjoyable, really well made, really awesome, just flat out perfect. Well, like I'm gonna say right now, and like I always continue to say, this is simply my own personal opinion, and if you happen to disagree with me, that is fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these, um, well, creepy pastas or funny pastas, whatever you prefer to call this one. This is just simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of this story would have to be a, I guess you could say a, a 10 out of 10. Pretty good funny pasta. It was really well made in detail. I really like it a lot. It had a good detail, really good concept. It was funny. I really enjoyed this one. It actually had a good concept to it. I really like it. So, yeah. And anyways, with that being the case, with that being said, what did you guys think about this curry pasta? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would we have done for us to help make this story a lot better? Leave me now with your thoughts down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you happen to be brand new here on this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that you guys... Will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm 